everyone. Uh, I'm Ada from Posendrock and today we have James from El Ripper. Hi James, first of all, welcome. And of course, how are you? <laughs> this is uh, one of the first questions we make always. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me on. Um, yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, it's It's quite a sunny day here in where I am, which is a, a nice change. It's usually quite yeah. grey. Uh, recently but um yeah i'm doing fine thank you very much so i want to go straight for the first questions of course the most common one is just uh, speak a little about about uh, yourself and uh, el ripper yeah so um hell ripper is a i guess black speed black thrash black whatever you want to call it um band um a solo project of mine that i started in 2014 um seriously um, I recorded an EP just to release. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to release that. And I thought a few people in my local scene would enjoy it. I released that at the start of 2015. And yeah, things kind of grew from there. Um, and since then, I've released two albums, um, two EPs, and a number of split releases um, through different labels. Currently, the band is signed to Peaceville Records, yeah, and we are we'll go through that as well. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's about yeah. it, really. <laughs> yes, and I mean, um, why this this choice of being like a one man band on the studio? Because I I read and I know that in live you 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 have other members playing with you, and who are these members? If you want to introduce them as well. Yeah, so um, yeah, the main reason I started Hellripper as a solo project is because um, I didn't know anyone else that played, that would, was into a similar similar music as me, so I did wait a while, I did, uh, I did try to form a band, like, for a while, but after, after so long I thought, if I keep waiting, I'm never going to get anything done, yeah. so I decided to uh, just pursue it as a solo project and at the same time I was interested in the, uh, learning how to record and mix and do things by yeah. myself so those two kind of go together so that was the main reason and over the years I've I like to keep it as a solo project just because I prefer working this way <laughs> there's no I don't have to like deal with anyone else's yeah, schedule. Yes, this is the same thing for, for me as well. I have people yeah. with me, but I do things by my own. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, it's just, it, just, it makes it easier. It means yeah. I can do things whenever I want. Um, like if I want to take a break for yeah, years sure. or whatever, hypothetically. I mean, you are the boss of it. You, you are the yeah, leader exactly. of yourself. Yeah, that's amazing. And also you can do music as you want. You can choose uh, any riffs, any any, we can say, atmosphere in the songs without saying, no, I, want, I prefer this, I prefer that, and is all, all your influences into the exactly. Ripper. So yeah. let's speak about your first debut album. It's a coagulating process. Darkness, sorry. Darkness, yeah, yeah. What about, I mean, what is the main topic, the production, the developing of this first album? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, before... Um, the the first album before Coagulating Darkness, there were a number of releases, um, yeah. like split and EPs and things, and they were kind of more, I would say, kind of metal punk influenced. Crust punk yeah. was kind of a big influence there. Um, so while I was writing those, I was heavily influenced by bands like Discharge, Anti Symmex, um, GBH, like kind of all the punk stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. Crust, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, but when I was writing Coagulating Darkness, I was listening to a lot more speed metal and kind of thrash metal. Um, lo loads of stuff. I mean, I was listening to a lot of Megadeth at the time, bands like Ranger, Enforcer, right. um, stuff like that. All school um, metal, you can say, yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So I think the album turned out more like speed metal influence. There's a lot more. Yeah guitar like harmonies guitar solos and stuff like that and that so i think that's the overall like kind of sound of the album there's a more speed metal influence yeah. as opposed to the the punk influence of before although that is still there um sure. regarding that i mean 
the songs are kind of um, just about the what I usually kind of talk about, kind of Satanism kind of thing and yeah. witch witch burnings and stuff like that. Um, occultism, this thing. Yeah, yeah, occultism, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. Just, I think it fits the music. And yeah, so... That is also a thing that brings you to be like an old school musician. That is lead me to the next following question because you sounds like even if you're like you, you are like in the newbie we can say scene, you yeah. are like all the you are one of the few that I saw and in, uh, in, the, in, in the music field of having an old school print we can say. So okay, yeah. I would, I, I mean, it comes natural. It comes naturally to you, or do you wanna just was like something that you wanted to be? Because you, you know there are a lot of bands that, of course, could be valid band, good band, but you know the contemporary metal just go through band who were inspired by Gojira, for example, something yeah. that type of metal. But you go just to old sound of metal, like the first metal that was in the early 80s, middle 80s, the type, the type of metal, I, it, it doesn't sound new, it sounds like, like the old print. Is something yeah. that you wanted or just up and just playing? Yeah, I think it just kind of happened. I mean, <laughs> I think the, the style that I play um, yeah. kind of sounds old school anyway because of the influences that I have. I mean, bands uh, from... Um, I mean, mainly you've got bands like Old Metallica, Megadeth, yeah. uh, Slayer, um, Creator, Sodom, Venom, Ven Dark yeah. Throne, Bathory, and all that kind of stuff. So it's heavily influenced by their style. So I guess there's going to be a, it's going to sound old school kind of naturally. Yeah. Um, although I do enjoy a lot of like newer bands and I do take influence from newer bands. I think... Yeah, it just comes naturally. I think the overall sound does just end up sounding yeah. old school. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's not a conscious, not yeah. really a conscious decision. So, yeah, it just whatever sounds good to me, whatever comes to me, that's what. Yes, yes because uh, as, I, as, I, as I'm seeing on all the web, you're like required for, for, for many webzines to do any interview because it's something new. Because it, it, it doesn't happen any days that you find some new musicians. There are musicians as well, of course. They are inspired by the... They are like an old print. For example, there is a good German band called Dust Bowl. So they play thrash metal, but... Dust Bowl, they, yeah. Yeah, they are good. They are they have the old print, but at the same time you notice that they are contemporary. But you seem to like someone that were in the eighties that are transported to the twenty twenty one. Yes. Yeah, and well that I, I, mean, yeah. I wanted to ask you of course the main influences of of you, of course, and a, 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 all a ripper. You you just say some names, but there are Maybe one biggest influences that formed you all in not in all your life. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of metal, um, I think just not. Metallica. It could be also another genre. It don't have to be all with for sure Metallica. Just something that what that formed you. Yeah, uh, the band that got me into music was uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, and I think they're still a big influence on my guitar playing. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of my like guitar playing as yeah. yeah by John Frusciante so I think yeah that kind of it's pr probably difficult to notice it because of it's put through the speed metal kind of filter and yeah. stuff but yeah that's like that's influenced me the most I think and there's a lot of that playing style and then yeah in terms of like the Hell Ripper playing style um, yeah I would say probably the biggest influence is Metallica Megadeth yeah um, and a couple of the bands that like inspire me to start Hell Ripper would be bands like Toxic Holocaust again, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Toxic Holocaust um, and Midnight. Both of those bands are, I guess, newer, relatively yeah. newer bands. Yeah. Both both play a similar style to myself and are both one man bands as well. So seeing seeing those kind of bands like Midnight and uh, Toxic Holocaust. And seeing that they were 
solo project that kind of right. showed me that I that you I could, could do it. Yeah, I could do it myself. So, yeah, it, there's a lot of influences coming from different that have influenced different, different aspects yeah. of. Yes, of course, because like you said, maybe some some bands or some genre could 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 influence could influence you just playing as a guitar or on yeah. bass on vocals. Some yeah. different genre can, and this is what a ripper new but old. I, I don't know how to say it, but um, this is a the, the real specific topic because we were saying before that your songs are inspired by occultism and all this stuff. Because I read, for example, there is some song that was the, the, the speaking about the exorcism of uh, Annalise Michel. M Michel. Mm -hmm. How did you choose to speak about that? I mean, and this, there is some personal interest is interest in this field. Yeah. So, in like occultism and like Satanism and all that kind of stuff, I don't, I don't believe in that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like myself, like that's, I just think it's um, like a yeah. fun thing to talk about, uh, to sing yeah. about, um, and it fits the music. But there are like. The, things in a lot of the lyrics especially more recently have been influenced by like um true events like yeah. uh, at least uh, michael you uh, you mentioned and there's a lot of stuff about um um the witch burning in france uh, witch yeah. hunt scotland um yeah there are so many things of, uh, about this beautiful country uh, to talk about. Uh, you can yes. you you can also talk about the Battle of Culloden. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I'm a huge fan of Scotland, so. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that kind of stuff. I am interested in the kind of real historical like things that have yeah. happened, and um, just because yeah, it's interesting to me, like. Yes, and also I think you know, society has like is a, a good good way to show to the world what ha, what what happened in Scotland. Yeah. because many people just made just United Kingdom or one, but it is different. As far as I know, for example, I prefer the Scottish accent to England, the English one. Yeah, all all the time. I try to sometimes to try to listen, and I I, I can't do it. I can how oh, am I so supposed to able to have the the, the, the um, Scottish accent, for example, you know this this uh, uh, lad, uh, um, we this, <laughs> this 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 yeah. I try to learn, but it's not easy. I think I should <laughs> live in Scotland to learn it. But it is anyway in a beautiful country, and I think one of the few countries that you can see highland, not just lowland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just now, I want to speak about the last album because from the first album, we just. Um, passed away just like three years and um, in, in the last album you signed with Peaceville that mm. is uh, we are, of course we know that it's famous for release a lot of album of Dark Throne and mm -hmm. I do uh, I do feel to be in uh, such a huge label with a huge label and uh, of course speak about the last album and if you see some difference from the other one I like three questions in one so yeah, yeah. take your time to answer yeah, so yeah, it was yeah, it was really cool um, signing with Peaceville first of all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was cool. It was great that they were interested, and of course, I have a lot of releases um, from Peaceville, Dark Throne, Bloodbath, Bloodbath, yeah. Bloodbath, um, a lot of like reissues and things, Candlemass, um, Catatonia, yeah. loads of stuff like that. So, yeah, it's really yeah, it's surreal and cool to be a part of a label yeah. that that I've like that I've bought stuff from for since I was a teenager and stuff so yeah that's really cool and especially like I didn't think like I would mm. things recording in my bedroom like 10 years uh, six years ago seven years ago that I would be able to that I would have went this far and um, so yeah it's really cool um, and it's been really fun working with them. Um, it's been really easy. The last album was received well. It got yeah. quite a bit of um, positive reception and things. So, yeah, it went well. Um, in terms of the new album, I think, um, again, 
I think this album is again more fresh influenced than the previous again. Um, I was listening to a lot of um, bands like um, Artillery, Megadeth, Annihilator, um, Overkill, a lot of that kind of stuff while recording this one. And I think there's a, quite a few guitar parts that are really difficult to play. Um, so yeah, that, th those will be fun to play live, I'm sure. Um, but um, yeah, it's an album, again, it's kind of just like, a, I guess, a progression from yeah. Coagulating Darkness. I would say it's kind of like a mixture between Coagulating Darkness mm -hmm. and the Black Hearts and Alchemy EP that I released yeah. um, just afterwards. Um, I think the production is better than the previous one. I think it sounds fuller, heavier. I think the songs are just overall better. I think they're catchier. Um, yeah. yeah, I just think it's a better album overall. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, it was yeah, it was a fun one to record. And if you want, for example, to just advise a song of this two album or any P, whatever, to people that are seeing a group for the first time, which songs do you advise? Um, I would say the one song that I would say kind of represents Hellripper would be mm -hmm. All in the Goat from Black Arts and Alchemy. It's a fun, uh, relatively straightforward, balls to the wall. That's just, cool, uh, that's cool. Yeah, just kind of, it's a sing-along, like shout-along track. That's cool. Yeah, kind of, yeah. I mean, and of course, uh, like we were saying before, you are like uh, appreciated by most of the media fans, webzine, also label musician, for being like a fresh, um, you can say, a fresh, like I would say, new but holders uh, in the in this music field. But I also saw that you are confirmed for festival, huge festival as well. How mm -hmm. does it feel to be just like starting and just go straight to the big, biggest festival? Because yeah. I think it's something metal like, days. wow. Are you referring to Metal Days? Yeah. Yes, yes. I yeah. saw the confirmation for Metal Days. It's, yeah. a, it's a huge festival, one of the main yeah. in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool festival. I'm. We were supposed to play last year, but of course, we all know what happened. Uh, mm, yeah. If they're 2020, so um, pretend that the, the pretend yeah. that there is no COVID for now. Just don't pretend. To. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, it's really again, it's quite crazy, surreal that we're that I'm able to, after like a relatively short time, yeah, that I'm able to do this kind of thing. Um, we haven't played much live shows over the past five years. Um, we've we've only done one proper tour. Yeah a short tour of Europe last year um, not last year uh, 2019 um, and yeah we've I've been very fortunate to play with some of my favorite bands some which bands, bands did you play with uh, we played we played with uh, midnight which is um, band is it that you mentioned before yeah my favorite bands uh, we played with uh, discharge and orange goblin orange that was our goblin. Last from yeah. like, from here from Italy yeah no, no. I uh, know, uh, maybe not. Oh, Goblin, sorry. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have this uh, band called Goblin. That's uh, oh, okay. weird, yeah, yeah. Weird, weird band, but amazing. Yeah, I know so. what you mean. Yeah, 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 we play Orange Goblin, Discharge, Midnight. Um, so it, it's cool to play with those kind of bands. Uh, some of my favorites. Did you have some particular moments of this touring that uh, you want to share? Some and it could be, you know, some moment or funny or just beautiful moment that you remember mostly I mean just being in touring with all these huge band or just being um, or so or just some lives of just uh, just only and Reaper yeah a good one is um, we were playing at the pre-show of uh, Roadburn festival um, a couple of years ago and halfway through the set there was a really drunk guy that jumped up on stage and he grabbed me and he like grabbed me and got me in a headlock. And he was like, oh, we were like on the ground. We were yeah. still playing the song. Yeah, it, it was, yeah, it was strange. Mm -hmm. So like, he was like, he had his like arms around me and I was like on top of him on the ground playing guitar. And he was like, whis he was like shouting into my ear. Can oh my I God. hit, he was like, can I hit you? Can I hit you? 
You wanted like, to eat? You wanted to cannibal? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, uh, no. He was like, okay, fair enough then. And then he, then he got, then he, I, I can't remember. He either got thrown weird, off stage. Some or, weird people that just say that um, I want to eat you, but okay, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. I accepted yeah. your your decision. I, it was kind cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a weird one. Um, Flat cannibal, yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was a weird one. So <laughs> that's something I remember. I mean, <laughs> um, fun as anyway. Yeah, and just meet uh, again, just meeting some of my like, other musicians and things yeah. that I'm a fan of, and it is, should be a really an amazing thing yeah, when really you meet cool. your idols and yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really yeah. cool and yeah, and, and just and meet yeah, yeah, and then the the I think the most beautiful things is that. You stay in contact with them, and when go, yeah, then maybe when you start, then you know you just imagine those huge band like, wow, and then you become friends with them, with them, and just you don't realize that you are actually speaking and talking even during the times with those bands. Yeah, yeah this yeah, has happened to me, for example, with Jeff Bashara from Obsessed. Yeah, I, that, I yeah. still, I still don't, don't. I'm, I find strange. Speaking with him, you know, through phone, just messaging, hi Jeff, or what, just and realize of he invented that metal. Just yeah, yeah I, I see. I still didn't realize that. I, it's strange for me. So yeah, yeah. it's it, it's a, an amazing thing for young people, for people, and uh, this is, I think, a good things that COVID. The only things that COVID brings that make you a little closer, closer, musician with fans, fans with their idols. And yeah. um, because without COVID, I think uh, nothing of all of this could happen. Because I see, I see also that a lot of bands are releasing album, but the saddest things, of course, is the live. Because you made album for what? For playing live music. Of yeah. Course. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, speaking about just a little about the contemporary music scene, because of course you are in the contemporary music scene, but as I told you before, you are, we can say just, for, you, we can say you are back, you came from the past, not back from the future, back to the past. Yeah. <laughs> you belong to the past. What do you think about the contemporary metal scene? There is some band for you, in your opinion, that maybe are be not better than others, but they deserve more. Yeah, I'm, right now I think the music, the metal scene is, yeah, great. There's so many good albums um, that was released like last year, for example. Um, bands that I'm a big fan of include um, a lot of kind of uh, speed, thrash, black yeah. speed, black thrash kind of bands, uh, bands such as Butcher, mm -hmm. um, Killer band, Evil Invaders. Yeah, we interviewed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're from Belgium. Yeah. They are great, amazing yeah. voice, amazing voice. Just a mixture of Overkill and Motorhead. Amazing yeah, band. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Killer yeah, Band. Yeah. 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 Who else is there? Uh, Sarka, Sarkator, Sarkator. I, I can't. Yeah, I, don't know how I heard them. them. Yeah, I heard them. Yeah. Uh, cool band. Um, what else is there? Um, Wraith, um, Killer Band. Um, when it's I'm bad at coming up with things from the top of my head, like I forgot <laughs> forgot like everything that I was that I would mention. But there, right now there are a whole bunch of bands: Vulture from Germany, oh, uh, yeah. loads of, um, yeah, loads of yeah, just loads of yeah. bands. I think this is great right now. Yeah, um, we, have, we have great bands that, of course, are are they are keeping like that. I don't know. I don't like to say true metal because. Metal has many, we can say many faces, many faces, but yeah. uh, the whole school, just like the, yeah. I don't want to say any, neither the new wave of British heavy metal, but just like the old way of living metal is just yeah, that. Please. Because what is, changed, what is changed is how you live metal, the yeah. lifestyles that of course influence, influence the music as well. But uh, just, uh, last questions before just yeah. ending the interview and speaking about the future plans just this, yeah. is, this is just a funny question pretend to be an organizer of a festival you think so you have, to, you have to plan a festival which country and which bands would you put in which country um well see i'm not too sure about country because i haven't really 
been to a lot of countries. Mm-hmm. And my only real experience is from uh, like really the UK and mm-hmm. yeah. uh, primarily Germany. And mm-hmm. I know Germany's got like a huge metal scene. Germany's crazy. Yeah, so I guess, a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's probably, yeah. So I'd go Germany. Um, okay, Germany. Or, and which bands? Um, you can just choose, even two, five, or just band you came into your to your mind. From right now or from like history? Even, like Even band yeah. that they don't, didn't exist anymore. Just band, oh. even from the 60s. Just yeah. your own personal well, festival. If it was that kind of thing, I'd have uh, Metallica 1989. ACDC with Bon Scott, um, Judas Priest, like Unleashed in the East, uh, Amazing. Era, uh, no, uh, no Sleep Till Hammersmith, Motorhead. Um, Will you rest in peace? Yeah, and Live After Death, Iron Maiden, one of my favourite uh, albums. Um, who else would I have? I'd stick just a, a whole bunch of my favourite bands. Cannibal Corpse, I'd get them in there. Um, Megadeth, Metallica. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, a, a lot of bands to choose. Just, uh, yeah. just you go to, to from uh, we can say new wave of British heavy metal to rock and roll to yeah, extreme everything. metal. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, have everything. Um, yeah. I don't think a budget for. <laughs> and uh, this is a good thing because you have really uh, let me say just some from someone that listened music since I was yeah thirteen, maybe younger. You have just like uh, I think a whole way of thinking of metal. Just uh, say it's a really rare to find someone that find the lifestyles of uh, real metalhead, the the eighties metal metalhead. Because we can say that that the eighties were the the, the, be- the best period of for metal. Mm. The eighties, early nineties, maybe because then it was grunge, and then we just go down for a little bit. <laughs> Yes. So, just uh, last questions about the future plans of a of a, a ripper. Yeah. Um, currently, I'm recording a new album. A new um, one. Oh, wow. Yeah. You just just goes straight. You goes fast. Yeah. <laughs> in <laughs> in just, five uh, years, you will have ten albums already. Yeah, that's my my favorite part about being in a yeah. band, being a musician, is the writing. So. That's that's like my hobby as well. So yeah. I do that. I'm writing stuff like all the time. So yeah, I'm writing a new album. Um, I'm I'm around halfway halfway through the writing. That's so I hope. Know. So depending on if things go to plan and the label schedule and things like that, yeah. hopefully I'll. My my goal is to have the album out by by the end of this year. Yeah. But. Um, that's if everything goes to plan and we really no hope so because i don't know if this is true this is true but i think that something like that we will be that will be true that for the festival or gigs in general uh, will be required to be tested negative for covid or have uh, like license for vaccine yeah it's, yeah, it's seen, something but... safer but as I see right now, like like they are spreading the vaccine, it will be really, really slow <laughs> having the vaccine, yeah. right? But of course, it's something that they need to do because they m- music is, uh, you can say, stopped for one year and, and all. Yeah. It, we need to move on because I want to go to some festival again because in Italy, we don't have festival. We don't have nothing. Yeah. So if I want to go in a festival because up and that I uh, usually make photo, photo shooting a photographer as a, for Summer Breeze. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. I want to go, not Summer Breeze, because this, this year, casually, I applied for um, Metal Days, because I want okay, to yeah. change. I don't want to do being a photographer, you know, the same festival. And, yeah. and so I've been two years at Summer Breeze, and this year I wanted to go to Metal Day because I saw the lineup and it's fucking crazy. The lineup yeah, it's is amazing. Pretty, yeah. And also the place is amazing because you can go to swimming and having a bath and also go to the yeah. stage staying in, in uh, just free and being just not uh, freezing like in Germany and uh, and also uh, I think that um, it's a really beautiful place uh, between the nature yeah. but you are used to living then you know the nature being in Scotland yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
but yeah, so, there's a lot of things uh, in the summer. I was hope, yeah, hopefully the festivals yeah. go ahead. I got a download festival in the UK just cancelled today. It's been cancelled almost. I think so. I never. I think I saw something online. Uh, maybe maybe that's wrong, but I think they cancelled. But that's in June. Yeah. So hopefully afterwards, I was yeah I was planning to go to of course Metal Dave and Brutal Assault this year. Brutal Assault, yeah. Um, and yeah, we have um, a couple of shows. Um, we're announcing a show tonight um, mm -hmm. for later this year. So hopefully that goes ahead. Mm -hmm, and, then, and then we're working on some stuff for early next year. Yeah. Um, for the, early 22, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, we've got no idea. Yeah, right when, now it's just just or, like wait, let's see. I saw many bands that they are rescheduled for the fall of 2021, and yeah. uh, also bands that for 2022. That's even worse because we you, you don't know what I, what to expect. But of course, all the organization the festival are being excellent because yeah. they are just not just, they don't asking any further money to people just. Uh, say keep the ticket for the next year they are really amazing yeah. because especially germany is a really amazing as festival uh, as festivals maybe it's the best place in uh, in, the, in europe i think i wanted yeah. to go in a, what is it called blood blood something blood stock in a uk festival. Yeah. Yeah, yeah i don't know if it will be uh, if it, there is still blood stock or, or, or always been rescheduled as well i, I have an idea because I is that going ahead yeah, as of because, now it's still happening I think. yeah because it has uh, as well a huge schedule a huge lineup as well but yeah yeah, yeah. and i will take of course a chance to, to finally see some other parts of the of united kingdom instead of only uk in england yeah. yeah so what can i say just uh, um if you wanted to, to leave a message or just Greetings to uh, Reaper fans and people that are getting to know you now. And of course, our followers, Fuzz and Brock. Yeah, thank you for having me uh, on the channel. Um, it has been a pleasure. Yeah, and thank you to everyone that's watched. Um, go and watch some of the other interviews on the Poison Rock channel. Thanks. Um, the... And yeah, look out for whatever Hell Ripper are doing next. Um, new thank album, you. new shows. Um, check out the Affair of the Poisons, our latest album released back in October. And yeah. So thank you so much, James. You. And I hope to see you live in Metal Days then. And maybe I will, I will be the photographer down the, uh, yeah. on, on the stage. Yeah, maybe I will yeah. be there. Hopefully that um, happens. Yeah, of course. And, and maybe we will have the fortune to have a real interview with the in presence that is always the best yeah. things. Have yeah, a beer be cool. and uh, have an interview. These are always the best things. So really? stay safe and what can I say? Good luck for the new album. I hope it will be out soon. Can't wait Thank to you. hear it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye, James. Bye.